I'm here to introduce the AirVinci project and to give people a little bit of background about the project, give them an update of the progress, and give them a little bit of future projection. Yeah, so everything has a beginning. And we're starting here at a garage. It's a small start, but a lot of companies have started in a garage. So we're hoping to get the investment and then actually build a full-blown company out of this and go into production. I'm not just doing this to build one helicopter or one drone. That's not the plan. The plan is to actually allow everybody to fly, make it affordable for everybody to fly. Now I understand that in the beginning it's going to be a little expensive. That's fine. But with production, it's going to, the price is going to come down and everybody will be allowed to fly. And the laws will change accordingly to allow that. So I was a little kid and I was thinking about vertical takeoff and landing for a very, very long time. And uh, I, I was absolutely passionate about it. And on December 15th, I made that decision that this, I'm going to drop everything and I'm going to work a, focus on this full time. Our team is made of 10 people in total so far, including me, including airspace engineers, including mechanical engineers, um, computer engineers, uh, composite specialists and marketing individuals, concept designers. Just all, everybody in the team is doing their own part to bring this project together and we couldn't do it if we're missing one of them. Yes, there was a deadline. The deadline was June 15th, 2015. And unfortunately, we're not going to be able to hit that deadline. We need to extend it a little bit. The reason is the gearbox got delayed. And um, we need to design the gearbox very, very well. Um, there's a lot of proprietary information, proprietary technology and knowledge in that. And we need to get it perfectly right because there's going to there's gonna be a lot depending on that gearbox and we want to get it right the first time. We want to make it the best and the safest we could possibly make it. So what makes the Air Vinci helicopter and drone unique is that its ability to convert from a drone to a helicopter. And the other thing that makes it unique too is the size. It's six feet wide and it can carry 260 pounds or 120 kilos, which is a lot of weight for the diameter, for the size. It's very, very compact. Also, having a ducted fan around it allows it to go in places where other helicopters can't go because the rotors are so big. And if the rotors touch anything with a normal helicopter, that's the end. But with our helicopter, the rotors are protected, which makes it very, very useful in areas where a normal helicopter can't go. Yeah. So our target demographic is, in the beginning, extreme sports enthusiasts, uh, such as skydiving schools. I think they'd make a fantastic demographic for this. Um, so a skydiver would jump in, he'd go up to 10,000 feet, and he'd press the autopilot button and he'd jump off. And then the helicopter will autonomously return uh, to the drop zone where the skydiver, where it's pre-programmed to return. The other demographic that we have is for peaceful operations, which is search and rescue and firefighting departments. I think it would be very useful to transport uh, tools that firefighters need at a specific location before the firefighter arrives to that specific location. The purpose of a proof of concept or test flight um, is to open it up for investment. And before the proof of concept or test flight, we're not, we chose not to accept any investment from investors. I think it's going to be for the benefit of the company. I'd much rather accept other people's money when the proof of concept is actually valid and I actually have something to show as opposed to before. The test flight and proof of concept we're planning for the end of summer uh, 2015 and that will be the time when uh, we will be actively looking to engage investors, to talk with investors very seriously about accepting some funds and really growing this company from a small idea into a huge production facility and company. Uh, yes, you could be a test pilot. The average individual could be a test pilot. We're going to have a, uh, a program, uh, an initiative for volunteers just like you during the baiting testing program, yes, people will be able to fly the Air Vinci helicopter and the Air Vinci drone. There's a lot of work that needs to be done before then, but yes, that is the plan to, for volunteers to be actually able to test this Air Vinci drone and the Air Vinci helicopter. As the average person, if you'd like to get involved, please support us on Facebook, uh, give us a shout out, support us on Twitter, uh, check the page, share the page, uh, tell your friends about it. Um, that's how you can support us as, as an average individual. As an investor, if you'd like to support this project, uh, please stay updated with us till after the test flight. Once the test flight is done, then we will open it up for investment. But before that, unfortunately, we're not accepting any kind of uh, investment. If you'd like to donate something, sure. <laughs> but uh, uh, we, we can't accept any investment before that time. It's a little bit early to ask when you can place your order, but we're planning sometime next year. 